Alright guys, so just when you think that you heard all the victimhood claims based off race in regards to what's racist, what's not racist, what's white supremacy, what's not white supremacy, um, you always hear something new every single day because these people can't stop making up ways to say that they are victims, right? So this time we have a woke comedian by the name of Godfrey, I, I believe that's his name, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And he is claiming that the map of Africa is racist. Take a look. And you know, the maps are purposely, they purposely shrink Africa down. They make America look bigger and Russia look bigger than fucking Africa. Check this out. It's what can fit into Africa. Look, 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 look at this. Shit. The United States, China. <laughs> look at this. Shit. Yeah. Look at this. Shit. Look, look what could fit into Africa. Look at this. Look at it. And they got Africa. They, they just, I mean, white supremacy, boy. Woo, you mother are some That's bull That's straight bull Yes, that's bull Yeah, so this is a prime example of why our education system has failed us and all the more reason why we shouldn't be teaching critical race theory or any of this, you know, gender and, you know, far left ideology in schools when children don't even know basic facts about the world that we live in because I remember in what third or fourth grade maybe um every teacher told the students that yeah the maps that you see of the world of earth are not accurate because it is not possible or it's extremely hard to take a three-dimensional globe and to make it into a 2d map without significantly distorting some of the continents in their shapes now um, the map that we tend to use here, the one that most people are familiar with, is super old as it was developed back in 1569 and it greatly distorts the relative areas of land masses. But hey, at the very least, it does get all the countries that are welded to the equator correct, okay, which I think is the whole point. However, the reason why we use this map is because it works for 99% of people, even though it's mainly wrong, but it's the easiest, simplest way to get somewhat of a representation of the Earth's land masses and what they generally look like. And this map has worked for 99.999% of people since it was developed, except for people who actually really need a more accurate map, you know, people like, you know, cartographers or navigators or people that are coding satellites and GPS systems and race baiters, whom unfortunately, and unlike the first three professions that I named, they don't actually need it for anything useful outside of trying to spread hate and division and victimhood ideology, because this guy, this comedian, who I'm pretty sure is a very smart individual, could easily do a Google search and learn more about map distortions. And why is it that the 2D map that we commonly use, why is it that Africa appears to be smaller than what it is in real life in comparison to other continents like Europe and Russia and North America. You can easily learn this stuff by doing a Google search, but no, no, no. It is just easier to come out here and make a claim of victimhood to say, no, it's racism than to actually do real research and to educate yourself on this subject. Because again, if this guy educated himself on the subject, he would understand that there are multiple ways to create maps that's just not the only map there are multiple ways and as you can see here demonstrated by this simple google search that i did each map that you look at distorts the size and shapes of the continents right just depending on what type of map are you created it's really that simple right it's really that simple it is demonstrated right here it's not white supremacy it is geometry and geography now i'm not gonna say it's simple but it is something that you can Google search, you can research before making a claim of racism. Now, is that to say that some maps are not centric to the nation that made that map, that try to make the maps bigger or try to make their countries bigger than they actually are as a show of some type of, you know, superiority? Of course that happens. But that's just not a European thing. China does that back in the day. So again, it's not like Europe is the only place that said, hey, you know, uh, we're going to put our country, our continent, our land at the center of the earth when we're making a map, a two-dimensional map. Now, it's kind of impossible to do that when it comes to a three-dimensional globe, which is what this guy should actually reference if he wants a 
real accurate size of the continents and their relative positions yeah just look at a globe and as you can see on a globe there's no white supremacy right put in on a globe because it is a 3d representation of what the earth looks like but i'm just saying when you have a 3d globe and you make it 2d yeah at some place you got to start the center and because there really is no true middle of the world so to speak right uh because again it, the earth is three-dimensional yeah you got to start somewhere it's arbitrary some countries like china or europe are going to say hey i want to put our country or our continent in the middle of the world and we might also make our country or our continent look a little bit bigger than it actually is too which for the europeans happen to be very convenient in regards to the most common map that we use when we're trying to make a 2d representation of what the earth looked like it just so happens that you know europe and russia and some of these northern uh countries uh happen to look a lot bigger than some of the countries in the southern hemisphere of the world like africa or india or south america again it's not necessarily a white supremacy thing at all it's just more about like this is just conveniently the most convenient map that we use okay um it works for 99.999 percent of people and i'm pretty sure that the countries within the continent of africa that is supposed to be affected by this white supremacy that comes from this map i'm pretty sure those people when they're thinking about their day-to-day -day problems and their issues which i'm pretty sure a lot of them have a, a, a lot of problems that aren't first world problems right they have actual real issues they're not thinking about a map they're not saying oh my god we're being oppressed by the white man because africa looks too small on the map <laughs> that's not what they're saying man that's not what's actually oppressing them that's the least of their worries is what Africa looks like, the size of Africa on a map. But again, guys like this who are living in the United States who don't really have those same problems, they're not getting up every single day and trying to figure out how they're going to survive, how they're going to live, how they're going to feed their family. Guys like this, ah, my version of being oppressed in white supremacy is Africa being small on a map, right? It's, it's terrible, okay? It's so bad for black people out here. They can't give us nothing. They can't even make an accurate representation of the world, right? They got to take shots at Africa every time they get a chance. Again, it must be terrible to live your life like this. Again, when you live in a first world country where you don't have to stress yourself with these non-issues, man. You really don't. But again, when most of your life is great because you live in a white supremacist country even as somebody that's non-white this is your version of being oppressed this is your victimhood okay which again it, it really blows my mind that people choose to go down this route instead of just enjoying their lives and being thankful and blessed for being born in the country in the time in which they were born in which they don't have to worry about all these issues that people who really are oppressed in africa have to worry about so let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.